now you might be thinking that uh, okay amit uh, you have done the practice uh, you know how to write but as a beginner how we could easily convert this kind of sql queries into the graphql how we can easily convert so let me tell you let's first copy this query let's uh, let's first copy this query and there is a tool which is developed by community itself that is graphql explorer graphql explorer again this is not a official tool by salesforce there could be some issues but i have tried it and for most of the query it really generates the correct result okay i will share this link with you all so this is a graph uh, graphql explorer okay if you scroll down so there is something called playground right there is something called playground and here you could write your query so if i remove everything and put my query here you will see um, i don't need this variable okay let that be let that be okay so you could see here right this is my query and if i talk about this ui api it has kind of generated my query it has kind of uh, generated the query but not but not the aggregate one but inside the no uh, inside the edges and o nodes it has got so it is quite of uh, kind of uh, failing in case of aggregate queries but if we type let's say select uh, id name from account it is going to give you the correct query it is going to give you the correct query you just get it get this query copy this and inside your query inside your query inside this query this cat could be replaced this whole thing let me show you let's copy this ui api and this whole thing could be replaced with this query and if you execute you will see the correct result if you add the filters if you add the filters here let's go to the query and you say where sorry um you say where name is not equal to null and you say and industry is not equal to null okay it says uh, sorry sorry i just uh, okay um does it says uh, not equal to null oh there is some ah, it's not working i tried it earlier and it did worked perfectly fine maybe if i remove not equal to no not working oh, okay there this is something wrong it should be like this and like this and you say not equal to single quotes and you say not equal to single quotes so you have to write the correct query here okay and as soon as you write the query you would see here you will see the query is getting generated so this tool works perfectly fine uh, in most of the cases but definitely as it is not a perfect tool it might give you some wrong result at some point so i would always recommend to go ahead play around with this altair client as well as the document the graphql document really has everything all these details all these kind of things which i actually learned is from the document not using this tool so i would highly recommend to start developing the habit for reading the documents and trust me you are going to rock on this graphql